Hello everyone, this is Jamie Campbell. I figured that I'd do an inaugural video for the Mondragon YouTube page with a bit of a virtual or video building tour. So this is just the outside of 91 Albert. Maybe take a bit of a step back, get some broader view here. Going inside. The lobby area. Here's our mailboxes. Uh, this area has posters put up by the community for various events around town, not just in the building, but elsewhere as well. Actually, I guess more than one poster area. There's specifically a cork board here. This is the entrance to Mondragon. Let's have a quick jump downstairs to Natural Cycle Cycle Works. So this is Natural Cycle Cycle Works in the basement of the building. They sell bikes, repair bikes, uh, and are part of a uh, federation that also has a uh, couriers on the second floor. And Mondragon. So there's books that folks can read as they're having their meal in here. View of the street. For winter times, there's fireplace area with some cozy chairs. Chess table for those like myself that are really into the game. Water and coffee. Tea, desserts. Today appears to feature lemon squares, biscotti, uh, crumble, and carrot cake, along with, of course, beers. Food comes up here to go out. Delightful drinks and yogurts. Our delightful grocer for the evening. Cookies and biscotti. This is the Mondragon bookstore area. Various different sections for different categories of books, including the, the staff picks by name. Feminism, sexuality, queer topics, fiction, Lots of different items. And of course, over by the grocery store is where we can find books on, on food, politics, health, and cookbooks. Another little sitting area. Some uh, t shirts as well, occasional other uh, bags and, and things like that. There is the bulk foods area, if anyone's looking for quinoa or oats, chickpeas, things like that. Various dry and sundry goods. And fresh fruit, fresh veggies. There's a 
information on community initiated learning if anyone wants to swap skills. Uh, this is Mondragon's internal, one of Mondragon's internal postering areas where people can put stuff up. The other area is right here right in front of the counter. This I think is mostly for events within Mondragon. Down the hall, we have our two ungendered bathrooms. And then just the back area. Also a board showing a calendar for when different community events happen. on now up the stairs this I think at one time was male but it's not really used for anything anymore we are approaching war on music the first organization on the second floor This is War on Music in here. <laughs> they are our second uh, newest tenants. Uh, the newest is a group on the third floor. But the best, the best of the tenants, yes. Another area for community information. Oftentimes there's pamphlets and things, informational material here. It seems to be fairly sparse at the moment. This is the Emma Goldman Grassroots Center. Actually, I think it's the whole, this whole area of the floor, but this is the, the common area where people often have meetings, talk about uh, various bits of business within the building, but I think there's also some groups from outside the building that uh, use this space. Custom cohort tickets. This is Kirby's office in here. People need ticket printing done. This is the Junto Lending Library. Appears to be open at the moment for if anyone wants to take out radical literature to, to peruse. We have Boreal in, in here. And Natural Cycle Courier is in this office, which has a delightful view of a storage closet. For those, those days when it's feeling a little claustrophobic. How's your day going? Very good, thank you. Awesome. So this is the entrance to that area, which is currently being used by War on Music for storage of various materials. Down further, it's quite dark. I'm wondering if there's lights I can step on. Do you know if there's hallway lights of any? Yeah, right behind you there. Ah, excellent. There we go, some illumination on the subject. So in here we have Copwatch, um, and they, they uh, I think, share the space with some other folks as well. Canadian Dimension Magazine has their offices in here. Uh, this is a little bit outdated. Urban Eaton isn't actually in here anymore. They were, they did share the building with us for a while. So there's a bathroom on this floor and a tiny little hand wash sort of tea making station I wouldn't kind of a kitchenette I guess we can use the word kitchenette various supplies for building maintenance which brings us to the third floor
the entrance to the third floor is uh, is left locked just because there have been some issues in the past since it is fairly sparsely occupied outside of events. Um, we don't really have as much of an opportunity to keep an eye on things as would be good. So unless something's going on, it's key holders only past this point. This is the Rudolf Rucker Cultural Center, various different types of events. Book this space, have a quick peek in here. So anyone looking to book space, this is kind of what you would be up for. Piano in the corner, lots of chairs, very tall ceilings, so height related things should not be a problem in this space. Just another entrance to the rocker space. This uh, door here leads to a, a upper back rocker area, mostly for storage. This is an office, a relatively small office, currently being used for film development. This is the uh, it's fairly comparable in size to the rocker. Um, ceilings aren't nearly as tall, but it's currently being used by a group called the Dragon Arts Collective for various therapeutic initiatives, in, including yoga and other things as well. Of course, this floor has a bathroom as well. And now we come to the final tenant for the building. Many floors, many doors, brings us to par IT. So this is, I guess, the par IT anti-chamber. Almost expecting hieroglyphs and mummies or something, but not as yet. And here is our space. So we do uh, various different types of things, computer programming, website system administration. We're a fairly eclectic group. There's one of our founders, Mark, over here. And something that many, many people have been curious about, the A-Zone roof. I, I think I can do it. While holding a camera? Yes. Mm. See? Yes. No. Welcome to the roof. Not sure if... Oh, it's adjusting. It's quite bright here, so I'm not sure what the quality on this will be. But just generally, got various bits of equipment up here. Uh, Mondragon's air conditioners and various furnace outlets and other floor air conditioners. So possibly someday we will have a uh, rooftop garden or, or solar panels or utilize this for some other sort of really awesome community project. But for now, it's uh, just a roof. And that concludes my tour. <laughs>